This is the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Trap comedy at its finest. Where if you can't slang yourself, you might as well hang yourself. This is also where you can turn yourself into dope and you become the real man. Whoa, yeah. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge live on a Tuesday. Uh, what Tuesday is it, uh, Jeff? It's Taco Titty and Tequila, tequila Tuesday. Oh, he, almost, he almost forgot the uh, damn tequila, didn't he? No, I, I was getting ready to say it, but you know, we so connected, me and you. We pick yeah. up each other and complete each other's sentences. I'm How glad to see both of y'all back, man. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. I really feel you good, know? man. I can talk shit to Jeff and Marv at the same time. Well, first of all, <laughs> let me introduce everybody. Uh, to my left, we have the super co-host, uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff Arnold, also known as Black Satin. Uh, That's right. Then we, then we have, to my right, we have uh, Mr. Farouk, which is the uh, ghetto Google. You know what I'm saying? And then Peace we have to a, the world. We have a special uh, guest with us opening up the show, Mr. D. Militant, a fabulous comedian. Way uh, OG from the back days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. old OG. Old OG. Old, yeah. old OG. Yeah, he actually put the O in OG. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. He's and, funny uh, as hell. Yeah, what we want to do is uh, make sure at the uh, at the top of the show, we want to make sure you guys subscribe to the Mad Marv uh, Comedy Lounge uh, on YouTube because we want to get your s- subscription in there so you can keep abreast of, of everything that we got going on because we uh we we moved to the J spot. We have the, our last show is at the Barbara Morrison performing. Arts Theater on the uh, 23rd, is it, uh, Farouk? Yeah, this Friday. Yeah, where my man Farouk will be hosting. So if you guys want to get a chance to we'll come good job. meet Farouk, hear his comedy, uh, we're going to have a good time down there. It's this Friday at the Barbara Morrison Performing Arts Theater. Come out and support Who's us. on the show? Uh, He's going to tell you because he, he booked the show this time. It's at oh. 4305. Well, I got, I got uh, Bubble O. Let me tell him where the uh, place is. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Good shit. <laughs> it's 4305 Degnan uh, Boulevard right there in Lamert Park. You know what I'm saying? So who's on the show, Farouk? I got uh, Bubble O. Uh-huh. It'll be his birthday. Uh-huh. You know, he... Uh, it's his birthday again? Yeah. Damn, I, so I got right. Big Sid. I got uh, Dave Gets Off. Uh-huh. And uh, Famous. Uh-huh. I got like seven comedians lined up. I got uh, Robert Williams Jr. Right, right. You know he was on the show uh, a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. He gonna be performing. So I got seven comedians lined up. You know. Yeah, that was the one that looked like a uh, thin line for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, he, yeah. He said he didn't like that joke. He <laughs> said it was funny as hell. Though. He yeah. said he looked like Frankie Lyman. Stuff. Yeah, he looked like Frankie yeah, Lyman with on, uh, on cancer. Look, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's he was like on oh, chemo. chemo. Yeah, like the, the yeah, one he that laughed at that shit, man. He said that was funny as hell. He said y'all wrong. Is but that the one that's coming back doing human. comedy? That was yeah, he's going to come back and do yeah. comedy. I don't know why he's mad because I didn't dress him. I ain't telling him to wear that shit. Yeah, man. that's right. The sweater. Because yeah. yeah. he used to do comedy back at the comedy at this. That's, that's not the same Robert Williams. It's not the same Robert Williams. Nah, it's different. We done got so old where people remix the name. I met another Thumper one time and shit. I was oh, like, oh, no. Thumper is in here? I looked at I was like, you ain't Thumper. Get the fuck out of the show. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know it'll be bad when you meet another Scroncho. Oh, uh, yeah. You're not going to meet another You're going to be real old. I met three Doo Doo Browns all in the uh, men's restroom, bro. I'll tell you that. So, yeah, yeah we're going to have a, a lineup of real uh, intricate comedians. Uh, intricate comedians? Intricate. Yeah, that's what intricate. I call them, man. Right. You know, all new right. people need a shot. So that's what I call them. Get you know? shot. They're going to be yeah. telling intricate-ass jokes? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, Rubik's Cube. I, I, I picked up the lineup of all comedians, so... They go get a shot. If they not funny, we go boo their ass. So it's gonna be stage. a pretty uh, perplexed lineup. Now. Yeah, it's gonna be real good, man. I think that you are gonna be real impressed, man. You know, talent is talent, man. That's right. So that that's that's this and lack of talent is lack, lack of talent. talent. So we <laughs> exactly. might see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it is. But I mean, the lack of is still good when they get on stage because see, 
that's material that we can build on and have the crowd laughing. So once again, that's this Friday, the 23rd, at the uh, Barbara Morrison Performing Arts Theater, 4305 Degnan Boulevard at the Mad Fridays Comedy Lounge live. You know what I'm saying? So now we got uh, the guest, uh, D. Miller Tot in the house. Uh, tell us a little bit of, uh, about you so the people that, that's out there watching know something about you. See, tell us about yourself. Okay, well, I used to baby t- Methuselah. No, you old that's as a bastard. Old, I am old as a motherfucker. Um... <laughs> No, I started off writing for Tom during the morning show. Then I started uh, producing for BT's Comic View. I wrote for D.L. Cedric, some more uh, Don D.C. Curry, Montana Taylor. What the fuck happened to her? And uh, <laughs> I must have been the end of her career. <laughs> like, I, I, I she, she, she was doing good with the coochie coupon until I came. Yeah, along. I think she moved to Montana. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah, well I accept. I she learned host, she was hitting the pipe. But anyway, she host, I'm not here then, to spread um, rumors. Once she then she host um, BT Comic View for me. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. that was the last we heard of it. Yeah. That was last. And then Gary Owen host. And then I, you know, I got on because you know you can't be producing the white boy, right. but uh, on, on on black entertainment, on black entertainment television. television. Yeah, that was a real back. That was a big controversy back then. That was a big one. That was a huge controversy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it could have been yeah. George Wilburn, Mike Bonner. It could have been El Tuma, but you know it ended up being <laughs> Gary Owen. I don't know about El Tuma, but you just smoke <laughs> some weed on that mother. Look here now, don't waste your I time. I host the goddamn show, Thomas. Niggas was, out there, give me five dollars. <laughs> I was gonna come up with my overalls and my straws coming out my mouth, and I was gonna talk about how to make good lemonade. But then a nigga made me a. Tell me like that time you got on, man. That represents a lot in this day and time, man. What's well, that? that's people why people all over the world, especially black people, man. I really like what that term represents. In, yeah, consciousness, you know, because a lot yeah. of brothers, you know, ain't. Now, now I noticed that you have some uh, cartoons that you put up on Facebook, yeah. and it's very controversial. What, what's the name of the cartoon? If uh, one like, broke activist. One broke activist. Right. And he goes around <laughs> fucking with Donald Trump. That's funny. And that is his goal and mission, you know, to fuck Trump That's up. So, funny. Uh, as long as Trump is running up until November, because uh, then it's over. You know, he's gonna start his own network. Now, what do you, you know, what do you really think? You think he's really got a shot? You no. think he's gonna not, none whatsoever? Not, not whatsoever. You don't think so? No. Because there's too many Mexicans, too many Muslims, too many black people, too many women, too many other people that he's offended. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's only just a certain amount of redneck crackers out there that's going to vote for him. Now, you said you weren't trying to spread rumors or, or anything like that. Now, no. Do you know any personal redneck crackers? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of them. See, I live in Alabama right now. Oh, okay. So they out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> and, there's, and there's plenty of redneck crackers out there. So do y'all, That's why there's no need for me to vote, because so I know the cracker vote is going to carry that state. Drink, uh, what type of report do you what have you say? with I'll, these redneck crackers? I don't crackers. think you could No, no, I got to catch the beginning of that. What do, 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 do y'all play pool? Or do y'all, are these redneck you, crackers your drinking buddies? No, no. I just barbecue? see them in passing. I'm okay. passing by and so they pass by. No, no, no. I don't really hang out with them. They're like, they have the general stores and you can go and you can listen to the cracker out. talk. You yeah. know, they'll tell you that they're many, voting for Trump. You'd be surprised how many people is voting for Trump that is uh, uh, out of the community of the non-colorful people. <laughs> you have colorful people that are voting for Trump also. Are you man. one of those people? Uh, I might be. <laughs> when you say colorful. He said non-colorful people. I'm talking about non-colorful, not yeah. just white people are voting mm-hmm. for Trump. You know, you, you think you, you would vote for Trump? Well, my thing is this, brother. Uh, Sometimes <laughs> truth and expressive on where people's minds is at mm-hmm. don't settle right with the people at that time. You know, everybody want to be lied to. You know, like if you fat and out of shape, or you know, if you got a f- small pecker. You know, you <laughs> like the compliment obvious, right off you like, that. Yeah, you like the compliment if somebody tell you that you are in shape or honey is big. Okay, <laughs> but see. Good. When you tell the truth, you offend a lot of people, especially when you speak your truthful mind. But so, his truth is different every day. Okay, what, I'm, yeah, what he, I'm trying to tell you is this, brother. When you tell people shit to the peas, the masses of people, that means that you are talking to the audience that have been conditioned to listen to one thing. Now, me, I'm a Muslim, but... I kind of agree with Trump on the basis that you don't want people from this war torn area or refugees from the Middle East just allowing them to come in the country because you don't know the agenda. You can you can be Al Qaeda or you could be ISIS. All you got to do is hold your hand up, or I'm a refugee, and come over here and regroup to do damage. But his way of screening them is, are you a Muslim? Okay, no, no, I'm not. No. Okay, come on in. No, no, <laughs> He's got see, no screening process. No, see the he thing don't know is, how to vet. See, the thing is this. Everybody from the Middle East is a Muslim, brother, that's Arab. Okay, now, 
Speaking about the wall in Mexico. But wait, let's talk about the screening process because yeah. I know you, you mentioned uh, people that. from uh, Al-Qaeda. And yeah. you mentioned people from ISIS. Now, mm -hmm. if it was me, you know, because I, I know a lot of Muslims, you know what I'm saying, from the Middle East. And uh, my criteria uh, for letting them in is icy, not ISIS. Like, if they yeah. make a good icy at 7-Eleven, yeah. then, then, you know, they you come on in. They make a good damn snowball yeah. off yeah. of... Uh, What's that? Uh, <laughs> Slauson and Overhill. Slauson and Overhill. Two hot dogs for a dollar and a quarter. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't beat you can't They beat. make ice and mm -hmm. flavor taste like a cheesecake. It's amazing to me, man. So so this is what we're saying right here. Now, outside of the screening process of uh, Donald Trump's initiative of keeping them out, the criteria of keeping people in or keeping people out, you know what I'm saying, uh, would you still vote for him over uh, Hillary Clinton? Man, that's kind of like an iffy thing because, see, Hillary Clinton is a known liar and her policies and her... Uh, Trump is involved. a known liar, too. Okay, but the thing <laughs> is, And he lies see, all, see, all the time. time. See, he this, got no facts to back is, up this anything. This is the difference, though. A lot of American people are tired of dealing with people with the status quo that supported the establishment. Hillary Clinton has 30 years of experience in the government and... Her 30 years of experience in the government has not bought the masses of American people. She never people. ran nothing. She never ran. She was a junior senator in and New Trump York. Trump She was no the first lady. What power does she have as the first lady? Well, she's been a secretary of state. What I'm saying is this, bro. She, which means she still had somebody well, to answer well, to. Well, right. I'm saying she is still this. had to go by somebody else's she policy. She wasn't running shit. She now, had, I agree with you on this. She's she a had, liar. She's a bad liar. She's she, like that chick that lies to your face and then you realize had, your wallet's she, been stolen she had, after she's gone. Yeah, she had Bill Kelly by his balls all the time in the office. Not only that. Uh, I thought Monica uh, had him by the ball. No, she had by, uh, she had him by the Jimmy, and then she got the twins. Okay. Right. That segment we had somebody mention that she was a witch, and I did some research and found out that <laughs> that's possible. Yeah, well, that's but, possible. No, like a real, a real wait, hold on, a real she's life, a, a real she's, life witch. She's a part of a group with spells and shit. You mean the like Wicca? No, you know, she's a part of shit. a group of women. They call themselves there. They meet annually in a wicked, here. wicked, not yeah, but they meet here annually in California. And that's what she does. But nevertheless, no matter where she is or not, and her infamous relationship with other women, you know, claiming that she's a lesbian, whatever. The Who bottom, has a problem with the that? Bottom, the bottom line is this, okay? Who don't like titties? Right. American, Especially on Tuesday. American people with some are tequila. tired. On them I love that. Because <laughs> this is taco. Okay. Now we found out, hey, now we found out how to shut him up. Look, he can go on and on. We say tequila, he goes, now what's happening with the tequila? Yeah, because right, right. this Especially is taco. Especially on some titties. <laughs> He good. Yeah. It's just taco. Now, back to this witch TV. thing. I, I, now, this is one thing about Hillary. I never heard. Have you heard about that? I witch? never heard she was a witch. I heard she was yeah. a lesbian. Look Whatever. it up on Whatever. the internet. Okay. That's some Farouk. <laughs> Which never lies. Conspiracy shit. All right, shit. check this out. Check no, this out. No Hold conspiracy. up, Farouk. That's very interesting because you got me really intrigued. But we're going to come back after this break and get back into this thing right here. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge right here on the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. You know what I'm saying? Once again, taco and titty and what? Tequila Tuesdays. Tuesdays. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, had to give uh, uh, Farouk a break. Uh, hey, he had to go get some, some, some more taco tequila. titties and some tequila. <laughs> get more tequila. Yeah. The tequila yeah. bottle was empty. Yeah. Smoke a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we got uh, we got another comedian on the on the show tonight. Uh, and uh, this is a guest of, of, of Jeff, uh, also known as uh, Black Satin. Why don't you introduce your guest, uh, Jeff, right here on the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. That's uh, Miss Nicole Williams, um, very hilarious comedian. Mm -hmm. um, I got to see uh, witness her work over the weekend. Where at? Um, actually, at the J Spot. Oh, you was at the J Spot yeah. uh, on uh, Saturday night. Yeah, Joe Torrey's night. Right, right. He was with yeah. Joe Torrey. Did he bring his brush? 
From Poetic Justice? Uh, I didn't see the brush. I didn't see the brush. Okay. Y'all. She no, good. She, she good. Brush. Yeah. She rocked that motherfucker though. Huh? But, uh, Ooh, I didn't see cool, the brush. Cool. You might want to uh, come on our show at the J-Spot on the 30th coming up. Uh, yeah, I plan on it if I'm invited. Oh, look, that's cool. That's cool. That's your real hair you got there? <laughs> I, I really purchased it. I really uh, did it come with the hat? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Did it come with the hat? <laughs> hey, we don't want to take the hat off. Have you met uh, D. Militani? He's a comedian. Um, Years ago, he might not remember me, but yes, I have. Where did we meet? Uh, was it dark? Uh, was it the Snooty Fox maybe? <laughs> Or the summit. <laughs> well, uh, we and we're gonna talk uh, also because uh, the summit. What you know about that? Oh, hold, hold on, wait. So, yes, she, she, I tried, said, she tried to remember. I said no, I I don't remember where, but I'm sure it was one of the comedy clubs. But we are gonna talk because he said he just wrote some jokes for a lot of impressive people. So yes, yeah, sure. well we're well, glad to have you right here. We're glad to have you guys. Right. You guys met right here on Titty Tuesday. Titty Tuesday. Yeah, I'm glad. Oh, you got two of them. Um, I think so. Yeah, because uh, we had a woman on here one time. She had one titty because uh, she had uh, one on layaway. See, you, oh, okay. see sometimes, you know, when you, when you get guests from the east side, you know what I'm saying, they ain't got all this oh, shit together. Okay, okay, you know what okay. I'm saying? So so what you got coming up next? Oh, wow. Well, now I'm going to be on your show, right? Goddamn right you are. Okay. How long you been doing comedy? Um, oh, I've been doing comedy, you know, off and on. It's been one of those things. Um, you know, I started about six years uh -huh. ago. I took a little break. I'm now. Why'd you I'm, take the break? Well, I'm working on my doctorates in psychology. Uh oh. So, uh oh. Know. See, but don't tell Farouk because that motherfucking <laughs> masses don't mean shit. Oh uh, no, no, that. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Her masters means a lot. What? Yo, you got a masters in what? Um, social work. Social work. Right. You didn't get a masters in hotel management, did you? Uh, because that don't mean a goddamn thing. No. Unless you had the snooty, the summit. Right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I didn't get my, wait a minute, but I didn't, get my masters, oh, I, I didn't get my master's in hotel. What, did you get an AA? No, I got an AA degree, a BA, and a master's. Almost, asshole. That ain't good enough. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but anyway, so psychology. Huh? Yes. So what what's the difference yeah. between a, a psychologist and a psychiatrist? One of them diagnoses and one of them right. uh, uh, listens, right? Uh, no, one can prescribe medication. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. so. And the other one diagnoses? Uh, well, both. Shoots referrals? Uh, just you can uh, prescribe Which ones do you get Who's the medication from? Uh, uh, the psychiatrist. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you're a psych you, you're going to be a psychologist, so you can just sit back and listen. Yes, that's it. Yes. That's cool. That's, that's cool. Because I got yeah, abandonment but, issues. Oh, um, okay. What, 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 what would you uh, uh, say for me that would be good, like, to help me get over my abandonment issues? Abandoned. Stop drinking. Oh, yeah. From Ooh. your... From <laughs> no, that, that's, that helps. <laughs> that's personal. Because look here, the bottle... <laughs> hey, the bottle ain't never just got up and walked away from me. Who's you know, down? Uh, exactly. Well, uh, you know, it's your mother, father, who the issue See, okay, with. this is what happened. Okay. Did, did you bring... got like two, three hours. Did you bring a couch days? with you? Yeah, because I think it's going to go, you know, real. All right, this is what happened. I'm, yeah. I'm be honest with you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I was about five years old. Okay. I remember it was, uh, it was a sunny... Uh, <laughs> Summer afternoon, I think it was a Tuesday, and it was no titties or tacos. Oh, 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 oh. And my dad was leaving, and I said, where are you going? He said, he's going to the store. I said, well, can I go with you? He said, no. Nope. Mm. I said, well, bring me back some chocolate pudding back. Because you remember the jello pudding in the thing with the Bill cap? Bill Cosby's your daddy? This was before Bill. Oh, 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 oh. I, you know what? I had thought that. <laughs> so anyway, he said, okay, son. And now I'm 47, and I have not gotten the pudding yet. yet. So I have abandonment issues. But I kind of like got pudding issues, too. All right. Well, you know what so what would you think to, uh, I need to help me other than, as Jeff would say, the bottle? Uh, the bottle? Well, I would just say go to the store and just buy a whole case of uh, pudding. Not now, because you see what Bill do it. You know it's in that damn pudding. Yeah. You, you know, know it's in that damn pudding. pudding. And uh, just get I'm glad cool. you started being a comedian because you got some bad advice for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, you see, know. you're not a girl, so it doesn't matter. You can have all <laughs> yeah, the pudding around have, Bill you want. Yeah, exactly. just have a lot of He's not doing anything to you. Wait a minute. You haven't seen the things that's coming out he, in the news. See? Oh, my God. He's in over the news. Already, my vice is excellent. You yeah, might be good. Yeah, that's a thousand dollars. Do I sound like my daddy? Yeah, you look like him, too. Yeah, I think that's a thousand dollars. Because they only show the scruffy Bill now. They don't show him looking young anymore. Right. Yeah, he looks like the crispy he Colonel now. He looks like a pervert. Yeah, uh -oh. so, so let's, let's picture, get, those are the only pictures they show. So can we get to this topic? Yeah, yes, we're go gonna ahead. get to the topic. But really, Is if, you, if you need some help, you just I'll I'll you know. Write All right, out so for you. once again, okay. it has happened in America once again. Yes. Um, an unarmed black man mm -hmm. is murdered by a white police officer in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, for those who haven't heard, um, Terrence Crutcher, 
his vehicle broke down on the Tulsa, Oklahoma freeway. Mm. Um, he was waiting, trying to actually get his vehicle off the road. Somebody called and said something. A news copter was flying around and all of that. I found out. I got the actual tape from when the person called in and, and told on him, you know. Oh, really? It was a, a real redneck person. They said, God damn, it's a big-ass black man in the car, and yeah. I think he's going to get out and do something to us. Do you got anybody around here that can come check it out? Yeah, and wow. then officers came up, yeah. and then um, he had his hands up um, in the air, mm -hmm. um, walking back to his car. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then, then Officer Betty Shelby, mm -hmm. I guess she feared for his uh, for her life. Wow. As he was and walking away from her. Yeah, and yeah. she shot him. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, um, once again, uh, nobody's, you know, where, to me, it's like all these athletes that's condemning Colin, uh, you know, Kaepernick, Ka Kaepernick now was talking shit last week about him taking the knee and all of that. They not Which standing up Which is a peaceful protest. Yeah, but right. they're not standing yeah. up now because they're saying that, uh, you know, he's being disrespectful to his country. Uh -huh. You know, and Colin had a valid point now. Well, well, you know, yeah, the social injustice, this is what we go through once again. Now, I, I see that. Now, this, this, this issue is crazy to me because I did watch... I did watch the footage on YouTube last night about 3 o'clock in the morning after I had polished off some Absolute. But at the same time, uh, it made me cry because I didn't see anything wrong. And then I saw the, the uh, exactly. I, listened, I listened to the, the audio from the helicopter that it was circling. Big was, black dude. Yeah, and it was like, oh, he's a big old scary dude. He looked like he's scary. Exactly. Like, right, right, he he right. looked like he's a big bad dude. I'm like. How the fuck can you see that right, from 100 exactly. feet? Right. Exactly. Now, now, I saw it. He just looked like he might have been overweight. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was in a big ass truck. Maybe he had too many Big Macs. But I didn't right. think he was no big bad dude. You hear what I'm saying? Exactly. Now. Did he have a big bad weapon? He didn't, no. They didn't found no weapon on him at exactly. all. None in his car or anything. I mean, she murdered that man. Right. Now the thing now is, she's on paid administrative leave. Yeah, the thing is on the audio, even the uh, the, the people in the helicopter it was like, oh, now uh, uh, he might be getting ready to get tased right, right. now. Right. And, oh, he's been tased. Uh, uh, but then that was actual shots. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So this is the the point that I'm I'm trying to make, and what what really brought the tears to my eyes <laughs> is because it seems to me that how many times. Does this have to happen right. before uh, black people come to the understanding that we are not considered human, human and we are prey and not predators? I mean, because this is what happens. You know, we could get pissed off. We can get mad. And then what they're going to do is they, they're going to put some uh, watered-down black person on the TV, some nigga light, some low-fat nigga. If he was a soda, he'd be a 7-up, and tell niggas to calm down. Right. And then, then y'all calm down like it never happened. And so the thing is, uh, once I think we wake up and understand, hey, uh, we tired of this, right. then maybe things will change. But uh, why should anything change if, number one, we don't uh, stop killing ourselves? If... if our lives don't mean shit to us. How can we expect our lives to mean or matter anything to anybody else? That's true and all that. But it's also on the flip side of it, how quickly the hands of justice work. Because the New York bomber, they yeah. caught that motherfucker with within 12 hours. Right. Today, he's been formally, he's been arrested. He didn't get tased or shot? He got shot in the leg. Oh, really? And he had a shootout. With law enforcement agency in the leg, he got he shot was, in the he leg. Was, he was wounded. Yeah, he was happen? wounded. Yeah. But now today, Tuesday, he's been charged. He's been arrested and he's been charged. So you already found America. We already found him guilty. Mm -hmm. So when when it's time for him to actually go to court, it's that's just a waste of taxpayers' money because no jury is not going to find him not guilty. Right. He's already been convicted. Right. They just saying, okay, when are we going to get him the death penalty? But now on this flip side, when you got to go through this, now people in the news media and all that say, well, don't jump to conclusion with the officer because we don't have the facts. Well, well I've seen this. That's a very good point. Because it's the I've presumption seen, of innocent that the police are always given. I've seen on the comments of that same video when people saying uh, the things that this this brother did wrong, like he he did something so terrible. He to, didn't comply to, to cause. I mean, if, if a white cop pull you over. Like you ain't gotta really do all that stuff. That that mean mm -hmm. that mean they pull you over and they say, uh, step out the car, do thirty eight push ups, and do the hokey pokey and turn your ass around. You ain't got to do that shit. Right. Now what they trying to tell you if they tell your ass to uh, act like a teapot, you know what I'm saying, short and stout, right. and show them your spout, you don't do that. That's grounds for them to shoot you. 
I have to admit, I have not seen the video. Um, I didn't want to see it. At the fuck was you doing? I, you was I, doing I your just, hair? No, because I... You were like, studying. No, I just... It's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. It was a little frightening for you? It's now, what did he comply on? But, right, and that was my question. She didn't... Exactly she did, what, okay, what? he was walking away from her. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she was telling him to stop Put your hands up. I mean, you only can as assume what the conversation was. But the he's hands probably, still up. But his hands was up. He's probably time. going saying, okay. I'm going to get my registration. I'm going to get my license out my car okay. and all of that. So, so when he, he got there. He was walking towards. He was walking vehicle. towards his vehicle. Which had broke. She, but she they had. for her safety is but what they she's had, but, claiming. Yeah, was back. See, but the thing is that. I've they, seen it. I just didn't watch it all. So. But they had no reason to really stop him. You know, Other why couldn't they just pull over and say, is your vehicle disabled? Right. Do you need help getting right. it off? Right. Right. And that's the it's, thing. I, I'm sorry. Um, my brother and it just touched me because mm -hmm. I was in Sacramento and my brother's car did the same thing. It stopped. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm racing to the scene because, of course, I'm like, oh, my gosh, if the police that's your little brother? come. My older brother. Okay. And the police come, you know, just all of these things. A black man, he has a BMW. Right. So I'm just like, right. oh, my Shit gosh. got real. Right. It really did. And so, I mean, as soon as I got there, a police officer was actually um, mm -hmm. pushing his car off off the road thank goodness was it a black it, officer or a white officer it was a white officer mm -hmm. and one of the um, good ones yeah, yeah you know a thank, couple. Officer, thank god officer friendly so he, yeah. you know he <laughs> you know moved him off the road and he didn't even get out of his car so mm -hmm. i'm just like please 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 i don't want nothing to go down in front of me but um yeah the, just the and and i also teach anger management so hmm. this is something that i also teach in my class because um, you know, and I tell black men and even women, I mean, it's not when you get stopped or uh, if you get stopped, it's when, because it's going to happen most in your lifetime. That's the interesting. Are, That's but we shouldn't are, have to. But no, you we know, shouldn't I have know to go people, through all of that, though. We should shouldn't not, have to have our right? hands on the steering I, wheel you, you and all not. of that. I understand. Well, what, I understand. Cops should be I'm trained better. That's the problem, too. When you right. go to lethal force as your first exactly. option. And That's why they have tasers. Right. Now, but, now, now, what you were saying is, is and I understand where you, you're coming from, because, yeah, if if pigeons had flutes in their ass, It'll be music in the sky. So, yeah, we shouldn't have to go through no, that. But the not. reality of it is, if your ass want to stay alive, you might want to do some creative compliance mm -hmm. up in this motherfucker because you know as a black man, you know you're a target yourself. Even if you your car break down and another black person come to help you and the music, he, he, he bumping Fetty Wap in, in the damn uh, windows right, attendant, exactly. you might say, my car is all right, I'm waiting on my wife. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you have to understand that this is a, 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 a collective a psychological profile and, 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 and outlook that we have. It ain't just how uh, white people view us. It's also the way we view each other Brother. from the... Exactly. social dynamic now mm -hmm. look here uh how'd you like that uh psychological flex though oh that you, you got <laughs> it you got it. and i understand where people man. are saying well we shouldn't have to do this and we shouldn't have to do that and i'm not blaming the victims at all you but know, be that's aware not, i'm that's not what i'm saying because like uh militant said where's the training there we're spending lots of money but, hold on, hold on, on one training. second hold on one second go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you can tell you what the college she said like militant said it's militant militant yeah, i'm like, sorry militant, militant said mm -hmm. that where is the training i mean <laughs> I mean, we, they're we. spending a lot of money on officers going to these trainings, and apparently they're not doing a but bit of give good. A, but uh, give us the same justice, though, because I, I with this New York City bomber, they keep looping over and over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They show on the video yeah. or when he's walking down the street mm -hmm. with the two suitcases. Mm -hmm. All the experts is up there saying he has the pressure cooker in those suitcases. They don't actually show when he's actually detonating the bombs. They just show on that he just sets the suitcase down and then he runs away from it. Yeah, he had a so lot they of found him guilty. They have all the facts based right there in front of him. Now, with this police shooting in Tulsa, Oklahoma, now they're telling you don't rush to judgment. Okay. okay. Don't go by the video. Well, you know, Tulsa, Oklahoma is where you had Black Wall Street. And that was what, back 1921. Uh -huh. Right. Where they said, hey, black people pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That was the richest community in the country. And it was black. You had black bankers. You had a black airport. Everybody had their own planes. All that stuff. And the poor people on the other side of the track used to have to come and borrow money from, from the, the black banks. Yes. They got jealous and decided one day to trump up a charge on a black person so they could go over and basically loot those people run them out of their houses. Uh, the state government was with them, and then the federal government, I don't know if it was uh, uh, Woodrow Wilson or who the president was at the time, but they backed the play. Right. Oh, in 1920, that would, that would probably be more likely that would have been Woodrow. 
I think it was because it was right after uh, World War One. Flexing. But uh, what I'm saying is this. <laughs> Now, uh, understand the, the, the way and the demographics of what's going on. I want to take people back to, uh, the, I like to, when I solve a problem, I like to take it to the simplistic core mm. of it. Now, uh, anybody ever heard of an island called uh, Tasmania? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now, with this particular island, you know, uh, the, the, the indigenous people of that area uh, was, was black. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they had been there chilling, doing what they do. Living, loving, mm -hmm. multiplying. Okay. Okay. For loving 10, usually does that. For over 10, <laughs> listen to what I'm saying, over 10,000 years. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the Europeans came over there, wanted to settle that, that area and everything, and then they just conveniently put in their minds and, and everybody that came over, all the settlers, that the indigenous people, since they didn't uh, go along with uh, their way of life, were just like, uh, wild animals. So it was nothing more uh, killing them than it would be killing a, 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 a dog or a cat or uh, actually wild a boar. roach right. or right. a wild right. boar. Right. You dig on stand instead of right. coming over there peaceably uh, trying to say, well, let's let's get peaceably. this shit cracking and let's squad the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They just wanted to get get rid of them. So don't think that that ideology has not changed with wherever they go. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is idiot. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know that, that I'm not saying. It's a good thing. It, it, it's come from some scary, idiotic, <laughs> idiotic thinking. Well, they, the fear, they, the they fear. take fear wherever right. they go. Yeah, That's they what they that deal over here. And, and everybody yeah, they, will they, tell you. They have everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody based on fear you, here. Yeah. Ain't nobody more dangerous than a scary motherfucker. Right. Exactly. Uh, yes. Um, our parents have said that it's not the one that's woofing and, you know, ha, ha, ha. it's the quiet one that <laughs> the James you got the white. They say right. the, the, they, what they say. They say, baby, you got to watch it quiet. It, it, yeah, it's the quiet one. My mama always told me, oh, your boyfriend, he a little too quiet. You better you watch They crazy. People. That's why you uh, went to, uh, uh, yeah. for psychology. Well, you know, Please I, chime I, in I on this conversation want, with us. You can hit us up at three, two, three, two, nine, three, 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 seven. What's the number again? Three, two, three, two, nine, three, 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 seven, five. We'd like to hear from our, um, our listeners out there so please give us a call and see what's going on I, I want to see what you guys have to say about this now I know see D. Militan I had him on this show and I invited him because he has a wealth of uh, information that, that I think a lot of people out there uh, especially uh, people of color you know, mm -hmm. need to know about their uh, ancest ancestry and, and their history. And it's not that, you know, D, when we talk about how they uh, used to tell us about 10 years ago, they go, oh, the white man don't want you to know this. The white man keeping you from, they ain't keeping you from shit. It's just that your ass ain't got up and, uh, and researched itself. Am I right? Right. No, it's got nothing to do with the white man. Now, the, how, the, the information is there is if there. you want it. How did you find out all this wealth of information? Oh, well, my dad had an extensive library, and he said, you better read this stuff. And he had books by black authors. Mm -hmm. Right. And there wasn't a white man in your house that was... international and all that. reading it? Oh, nah, nah, uh, nah. There was nothing to stop me from doing anything. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the standard Bible with the white Jesus, but we didn't have him hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. right. did, exactly. you, did you have Encyclopedia Britannica and stuff? Yeah, you had a, uh, yeah, no, no, nobody does encyclopedias had. anymore, <laughs> right? You had a whole yeah. Yeah, wall of encyclopedias. Yeah, Playboy magazine was National Geographic. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that, I, that was, that was, yeah, that was yeah. for black people. That was, you know, that, that, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, National uh, Geographic. That was our you know, porno. Because you, yeah, you. I like Natty. I, I like Natty G too. <laughs> yeah. Even to this day, yeah. I don't even ask for hand jobs. I'd be like, give me a handy J. <laughs> I just would, you know, because we're. Uh, it's actually it's a great topic, but I'm just really waiting for the solutions, you know, because uh, we need solutions. And it's not going to be no solution it, until it, black officers start killing white civilians. That's crazy. That's when it's, but no, but that's when the solutions not, are going to come out. What about when they drive feeling? around that's and when they feel solution, no, no, when they drive around and they feel scared like right, we right, feel right, scared right, when they get pulled over right, and they start getting shot and murdered then it's going to be a problem Jeff, then they're going to come out there when did you get so militant when you right, cut I'm when he like cut his so hair off okay Look, when he cut his hair off he became oh like a black skinhead he like no, he, yeah. it's not that but it's just that you know it's one you know it's over and over and over it's not going to be a solution until it starts happening to them well i'm gonna tell you like this okay, well, so are you okay uh, with the innocent police officers that were killed um where, where was in it? Dallas? Dallas? yes no i'm How you know what I, i'm not you know i'm not down for violence at all what he trying I mean, to say is he, he ain't all right with it but he ain't losing no sleep over it yeah exactly i, I mean you know <laughs> until you start feeling the pain we that's been inflicted upon us that's when you're going to have solutions 
situations. That's when it's going to come to say, okay, this shit has got to stop because now that white kid was not doing nothing. That black officer, he won't be. They will hang that black yeah, officer. He in won't County get Square. the luxury uh, of yeah. being put on paid administrative leave. No, he he will not. be arrested at the spot. So let me ask you, let me ask you this. I'm gonna ask be first, friendly fire. First, I'm gonna ask the brothers right here first, right, and then and then I want you to think yes, because I know you're cerebral. You're coming from the right hemisphere. Am I correct? Oh uh, yeah. Go ahead. Hello, flexing. But look, yes. Uh, <laughs> have you personally experienced any racial injustice uh, from the police uh, as you, while you've been living in Los Angeles? Uh, yes, Los Angeles, Alabama, Texas, <laughs> Oklahoma. Uh, I've traveled. Let's uh, keep this shit regional. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I've tra I've yes. driven across Earth, country a Earth, number of Earth. times, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no state. Well, I put it this way: Texas is pretty bad. Texas is terrible, actually. Wait um, a minute. Don't be when I got, Texas. I'm sorry, my Texas friends, but, you know, you go on vacation, you leave on probation. <laughs> That's the problem with Texas. I drove out. Of, I finally got out. I got arrested twice in Texas. Twice. I got put in jail for going 47 in a 45 zone. Wow. What? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they put me in jail. I had to wire for money to get to get bailed out. Right, I believe. Here that. I was. Otherwise, I'd have, I'd have been on the bus. I'd have been on, hitting on the chain gang and all that. When I got out of Texas and got to New Mexico, oh, I kissed the ground because mm -hmm. I felt safe in New Mexico. What did it taste like? Did it taste different in Los Angeles? It tasted Los like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I was on tour when I was with the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, uh, okay. and we was just up north. We was in Carmel, California. Mm -hmm. oh. Now Ooh. we like to go run it in Is the that morning. Near, that's near Santa Barbara. Yeah. Okay. So we like to go run it in the morning. It's so beautiful up there. We and it was the of course they had the PGA tournament up there at the time they was going on. So they had a lot of black folks coming up there. Mm -hmm. So me and Craig What's the PGA is that like an early pregnancy test? No, that's the um, so, Professional Golf Association. I missed that one. But um, we got up early in the morning and we went running. Mm -hmm. So I had my hoodie on and Craig is like with me, and the first thing you Who's know. Who's in front of who? No, Craig was looked behind. Looked like you were chasing him? No, Craig was behind me. Oh, okay. But like I mean, but he was just he was running because I run at a, I run at a, <laughs> I run at a quicker pace than he. But two squad cars pulled up on me. Yeah. And they jumped out quick. Because they wanted to help Craig catch your ass. No, it, whatever it was. But no, but no, Craig, he got to experience my racism f uh, firsthand. Did he jump what, in, what in front of you? What did he say? No, he came up and he was like, what's going on? And they was just like, uh, can you just back up? And he's like, no. He's like, this is my guy right here. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, no, we need to know where he's coming from. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm coming out the hotel. You saw me come out the hotel. You should have shut and the fuck And he was like, up. what the fuck? For what? I haven't done nothing. Yeah. So I'm like, so what's the problem? And he's like, can you keep your hands right there on the hood of the car? Did the police say keep your hands? He said, can you put your hands oh. on the hood of the car? Keep that's okay. the tequila I had, motherfucker, with, okay. the with the titty in my mouth. Oh. I mean, but he got to see that, though. Right. So, yeah, I mean, even in Chicago, I've experienced racism. Mm -hmm. Had a white officer, when I was nine years old, spit in my face. Damn, what was you doing? Or doing shit. You ain't got to do shit. See, that's the first thing. That's the reaction that we had. We, uh, well, what was your, you had exactly. to be doing something? You had to be doing uh, something. He didn't just that's walk up to your ass and just yeah. hot spit in your, in, your, in your face like it was a napkin. It's always got to, we always got to be doing something. We always got to be bad. It's like, okay, we just can't be walking down the street minding our own business. With your hands up. Uh, exactly. You, All right. You now, look. look you're uh, black. You've probably been stealing since you could crawl. Exactly. <laughs> philosophy on that we know his I, 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 I you asked me a spiritual race I uh, spiritual race him nine years old in church um, I got banned from church that's why I don't go these days you was taking that um, money out there that, that, that it was a white church and my parents had sent me down the street you know we lived in one of them areas and they sent me down you know go on down there and you know, learn from the white man and so I'm in Sunday <laughs> school <laughs> you know what's good for your black ass you're gonna teach so about I'm that in, good Jesus yeah so I'm in Sunday school and I'm sitting right across from the pastor's son the pastor's son you, you don't get no bigger than that right right, right. So we're with the crayons and coloring books, and he says something like, give it to me, nigger. What? And I remember leaping over the <laughs> table and beating this little white boy where they pulled me off and my hands were bloody, and they said, you're banned from church. What? And I didn't think to ask all churches. I just House took it as a blanket. Okay, I'm out. Right. No so redemption, I went home. no forgiveness. Now, nothing happened to the white boy. Wow. He was, he was, you know, well, they had to clean his nose up and, right. you know, get the blood off and of And this him. is a house of worship. This is the house of worship. Right. No redemption, and I was called no forgiveness or anything. nigger. Right. Yes. For no reason. Now, let me ask you this. Yes. When they sent you home, did you, and, and be honest with you. I will. This, did you take the motherfucking crayons with you? 
<laughs> no, I didn't. I I, 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 I wish I had her. I went and I told my I went and told my mother, and she was like, "Well, all right. Well, you can stay at home, and you know." And then the NFL became so, my new religion. So we 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 we've heard you guys now now from your personal experience mm -hmm. as a black educated woman. Mm -hmm. All right, as a black educated woman, have you experienced any racism? Uh, from the police. Uh, yes, of course. Personally. Uh, personally, yes, of course. I remember being maybe 10 years old. I grew up in, you know, a majority white neighborhood and just I'm riding my bike to YMCA and two white officers pull up and I'm by a school mm -hmm. uh, and they were like, oh, what are you doing here? By the school? By a school, just passing a school like I'm about to go burger, like, excuse me, burger rise, <laughs> excuse me. Burger rise, yeah. Burger rise. We have problems like, with I pronunciation can, yes, of from yeah, time to time. Yeah, burger rise, what, mm -hmm. me? No, so, um, yeah, like I'm about to, you know, go in and whatever, vandalize. A, and so I'm sitting here like I'm 10 years old. Where, right. where am I about to go? Right. So, yes, that, you know, I, I remember. How did that make you feel psychologically? Of course. I knew. And it was at Florida. So I knew what oh, was yeah. going on, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, Stand hot. Down. Was it a hot summer's day? One of the hot, 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 hot. So, yeah, that was my first, you know, stint. And then just even in Florida with white friends running with them and being called, you know, niggers. Or what are you doing with that, you know, nigger girl? Did a lot of white guys come on to you? Because you, you kind of look like uh, Pam Greer. Oh, I've heard that plenty of plenty yeah, of times. True. Uh, white guys, uh, that's another show because they don't get at women like some of the brothers. Do. How do the white why do, how do so, the white guys uh, get at you? Whole, yeah, how do they approach? <laughs> do they come yeah, up to you and like, uh, uh, I'd like a little cream in my coffee. Yeah. No, hey, they, brown they, sugar. Right? No, they just <laughs> you know they just you know black guys they just pss, pss, hey pss, you know they uh, so white guys they don't usually do how it do they that do it? Way. Um, they strike up a conversation usually. Oh, they go. Oh, is that is that hair come with a hat? Uh, or, you know, you do they try to be helpful? Uh, yeah, helpful. Hey, I'm looking for a secretary. You know, uh, another thing. Is, <laughs> right, I'm looking for somebody to put in my, my will. Most of my girlfriends, and and I moved to uh, Sacramento, and most of my girlfriends, they were, you know, just say others, non-blacks. So it would just be so funny if we were mm. out. The maybe the one white guy, or right. whatever, they would always try to talk to me, and I'm the only. They're like, because he knows oh, white women are nothing but trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. and I'm not, <laughs> and I'm not. Now, so I wanna, they just get it. To, I mean, it's. You know. I want to speak up for the brothers because you know you said you know the, the, the white people try to help you. You know, brothers, when we try to mack a woman down, we be trying to help her, be helpful, right? You know, we help you roll that blunt. Like, let me help you with that. Yeah, I don't <laughs> let me help you roll that and smoke, get so get that weed all over my car. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's out. But yeah, brothers, y'all just approach a little differently. Some of you. You, know? you have a date? You, you ever dated a white guy? I've been on some dates. Yes. What was what was his name? All of them had the same name, huh? Brad. You dated <laughs> no, Brad? <laughs> no, but how many Brads I, you dated? I, I haven't gone to what I don't know hit a home run or anything with one. So. What make what 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 uh -oh. what, what draws the line? They, 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 ain't, they ain't had that in the in the they relationship. They had that chocolate yeah. pudding. Right. Right, right. Uh, put a fire. Uh, I was about a what 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 draws the line for you when you when you going on a date with with Brad? You know what I'm saying? Brad done been helpful mm -hmm. and everything. You know what I'm saying? He paid for your breaks and your rent and help you out. <laughs> and, uh, whatever Brad okay, do, gotcha. you know you know what the Brads be doing. Well, so uh, Brad what, be getting divorced. What make you go like this? All right, Brad, this ain't gonna work out. What freezes it for you in that relationship that stops it from going any further with Brad? Um, chemistry, I would definitely say. Yeah, chemistry is something missing, huh? Yeah, it's just, that it's Johnson ain't right. That you know what I'm saying? That chemistry, you know, that's yeah, the that, Johnson. That so yeah, as a white man, a now. <laughs> tried to make you touch his pecker just to you know. You seen that and was like, this ain't gonna work out. Because um, I understand they, they're kind of perverted. You awfully helpful. Well, they are very touchy, but and then I get, well, aren't black men the same way? And I'm like, well, sometimes, but you can look at a black man a certain way, like. And he like, know. Like, come get this dick. Right. No, so like, he know, back the F up. Oh, right, okay? right. But, but the but white I'm, man is intrepid. He just right. keeps going he, forward. Exactly. Right. He yeah. doesn't know what well, look here. look, come the on. black look, or whatever. We're going like. to come back with that, and we enjoyed uh, talking to you. Uh, yeah, so. And, uh, uh, did you enjoy uh, the conversation? Oh, well, of course. You guys went from shooting to trying to. To, to Johnson. Yeah. 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 <laughs> white Johnson. Johnson. So we get ready to take a break, and we'll be right back. Uh, white John. Yes. We're going to be right back after this break, okay? Right here at the Bad Mark Comedy Land.
Oh, we back on? Swap me out. Oh, we back on. Just yes. Back, so. We're back on. We're back on. We're back on. Bam. Yeah, now, uh. Really? You come on here with a Colin Kaepernick jersey on? <gasps> now, wait a Do minute. You take a knee? You wasn't up, here. Home boy? You wasn't here last week. Wait. How you doing, sir? How y'all doing? What's up, Big Sid? Y'all looking great today. How y'all doing? Now, hold on. What is all this shit you got? Don't even trip. It's my sports report. Okay, well, you talking to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little un, uh, uneasy about your jersey, too. You didn't know this was Green Bay Central? I hey, understand Matt. that. I respect that to the fullest. I respect the... Uh, Fuck Green Bay. I respect there your you team. Go. I this was Raider Chicago Nation Bears, over it. Raiders, we I respect two. all y'all. They sorry but, as but fuck. But you know what I'm saying? I'm repping this, in this because they doing my boy wrong. Straight up. With Colin? Yeah, so let me... Uh, Get this sports First of all, away. can we all just get along? Yes, 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 yes. I respect everybody's team. Right, so be, before we get into uh, uh, Sid's uh, sports corner, we want to make sure, once again, that everybody out there with a phone or knows somebody with a phone, okay? I don't care what kind of phone you got. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. That's M-A-D-D-M-A-R-V, okay? Comedy Lounge, so you guys can be subscribers and be part of the family over here at Trap Comedy at its finest. You know, where we, we teach you guys and we show you guys stand up for yourself. If you can't slang yourself, you might as well hang yourself. You know what That's I'm saying? That's right. This is where we're showing everybody. This is where we're doing. Okay? Now, Sid. What's up, big dog? We're going to swap you out in a minute, so you got to make this very, very quick. Damn. Because uh, only, only because <laughs> my team Sam, didn't. Swap him that. Yeah, <laughs> only, <laughs> because, <laughs> only because my team didn't. Like, blah, 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 only because sport. my team didn't win this week. Did you expect them to win? Of course. Green Bay all the way. Yeah, just get the fuck out of here. Y'all one and one. I'm on two. We going 14 and two for the rest oh, of the year. Oh, yeah, that ain't for long. So, Sam, what do you think about uh, this bullshit he's talking about? <laughs> well, let me uh, get get everybody up to date. To week okay, two bring, bring us up to speed, if you will. Yes, uh, week two of the NFL scores. Okay. Uh, we got the Jets over the Bills, 37 Don't talk 30. to me. Talk to the camera. I don't give a yes, shit. Sir. I know we yes, lost sir. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Why are you interrupting while I'm doing my sports report, though, sir? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got... Uh, the Saints over the Giants. No, excuse me. The Giants over the Saints, 16-13. We got the Titans over the Lions. Woo, Detroit. That's your squad, huh? No, Chicago. Fi- oh, Chicago. my bad. They, that's the uh, saying. They both suck. 16-15. Oh, that was uh, Them boys, them Dallas Cowboys got a victory this weekend. They won uh, 27-23. Dallas, yeah. I see it. Dallas, in Dallas in the house. That yes, ain't sir. bad for the Cowgirls. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> Shit, we got the motherfucking Pagers, boy. They just keep winning with Who's the Pagers? Yeah. Who's the Pagers? They beat the shit out the Who Dolphins. Who is the Pagers? Where are they from? San Diego? The Patriots. Oh, I thought you said Pagers. Yeah, come on. That's too much Patron, brother. They're going, with that, they're going to try to go with that third string quarterback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, hey, that brother can play brother, a little yeah, bit, though. Play. You know what I'm What's saying? His name? Uh, I don't know his name, but he balling. We're just going to call him Jamal. Uh, we got the Ravens over the Browns, 25 20, uh, 20. We got the motherfucking uh, Panthers over the 49ers, my squad. Uh, forty six, twenty seven. How you feel about that? Did you, you know did, what, man? Did you watch the Panthers over the? the, the they, 49ers? I did. They, you know what? We was in the game, but ain't no fucking. Well, way yeah, in you the were world. there. Ain't no way in the fucking world. Blaine Gavin should be starting over Ka- Kaepernick. We already. Well, know well you know why? Is. We know why. You know what it is? Yeah. But yeah, that well, motherfucker political. suck, man. But the fuck that? Did you see the exchange between Colin and Cam at yeah, the end of the game? Yeah, I, I did. That was real right there. When Cam tried to come up and be like pounding, and Colin was like, "Man, get the fuck out of here!" That was right? real yeah. right there, homie. Because you know what Cam said? You know, as an NFL, you know, he's a beast out there on the field. Yeah. yeah. You know, but he came. And he said that, you know, in his life experiences, you know, that he's never experienced racism. Yes, sir. And then you know, we got a couple black more man, scores. Just get these couple more scores out the way. We got uh, the Rams won their first game in L.A. in 20 years. Yeah. That's what's up. That was yeah, amazing. They, they beat the motherfucking uh, Seahawks 9-3. Uh, to three. That was sure. these. I was pretty happy. To I loved it. I mean, I ain't no Rams fan, but hey, what the, what the fuck? Okay, we got the uh, Chargers, San Diego over the Jackson. Uh, That's Jack- for Roots team. Like yeah. that, oh, 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 oh. Chargers uh, up in shit, here. 38-14. Yeah, they God kicking ass. Damn. Wow. Okay. Okay, we got the motherfucking Vikings. Over the pa- uh, we don't, Packers. You can keep going to the yeah, next. Yeah. And then we got the Eagles. Let's go back to the no, Packers over to, the Vikings. We don't have enough time. We're no, let's go back to that. If we don't have to go because he got to go, because don't you, you got to pick up your kids or something, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, last but not least, y'all, I got this segment called This Nigga Need to Get the Shit Slapped Out of His Ass. <laughs> and this candidate this week is mm-hmm. Bitch Ass Kid Fucking Rock. <laughs> Telling my boy, fuck Kaepernick. That's what Kid Rock said? Kid Rock? Kid well, Rock said, fuck Cabernet. This hepatitis C-ass motherfucker. 
fucking. So well, they all said that. What Ted is, Nugent said it. All of them said it. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, well, are you talking about Uncle Ted? Yeah. Well, they all have a problem with Ted it. Ted Rock shared Snatch, though, with Tommy Lee. Yeah. yeah. So, but they all have no a, respect for any three of them. They're nasty. Yeah, but see, the park. But that see, that's was the why sports I, corner of the week, y'all. So I just want to get in, and get out. So yeah. wait a minute, said. Uh, so you mean to tell me, Kid Rock actually said this? He was in concert in Boston. Yeah. And said, "Fuck uh, Kaepernick." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's a Trump supporter. Boom. Well, thank you very much for coming. Uh, no problem, sir. If you guys like uh, said sports corner, feel free to uh, let us know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? And it's a hater out there that comments, uh, I forgot his name, and it probably don't even need to be said. He said I should uh, kill myself. Damn. Or uh, something like that. I don't know. Uh, what I, my, my, uh, them fucking trolls, them comments on the trolls. Yeah, they they, they my, too hilarious. My yo. advice to him is, you know what I'm saying? I keep pushing. Put the pipe down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Put the pipe down, okay? So this is said. Take it out your ass. Hey. <laughs> whatever works for you. Man, this is said. Sports hey, Corner. Thanks for having me, Matt. Appreciate y'all. So, wait a minute. Uh, now, uh, I see you know a lot about sports. What is your prediction for uh, Green Bay well, uh, next, trying to get next out week? Of here. And they got... Uh, <laughs> Keep holding his ass up. They got... Who they got? <laughs> that motherfucker. Who we got next... Who we playing? Green Bay is playing... <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Who we playing next week? Y'all going to win, dog. No, they're it, not. It's a weak-ass team, but we're going to win. Y'all anyway. going to win. The Raiders are playing the Titans. Who's going to win? <laughs> Raiders going to take it, dog. Goddamn right. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's my he's, time. He, he's a sports expert, Marv. Yeah, That's right. man. Keep him. All right. Keep me. Keep Let's me. I up. need a job. That's what you're talking about. Let's give it up for said sports corner. Make sure you don't trip. Don't bust your lip. You know what I'm saying? Take your little shit with you. Let's see him next yeah, week. Yeah. Signing out, y'all. Yeah. I don't know. That might be, that might, I don't know. Raiders. Next episode. <laughs> yeah. Come on out. We got to bring Farouk back, and then we're going to get into these last uh, comments, last topics. Yeah. Put your uh, helmet on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the haters with the comments, please keep typing away. I love it. <laughs> I feed off of it. I mean, because all it tells me is that you're just a Monday morning quarterback. You know, <laughs> you can't do what we do. I could do what you do any day of the week. Whatever job you do, I could come in and do it 20 times better. Especially if you're working in a hotel. So the flip side of it, you can't do what I do. Mm -hmm. You don't have you, the chops to do what I do. You can't be a barber, Jeff. Huh? You can't be a barber. Yes, I can. That's He's, bullshit. I could not. Hey, uh, it's, it's more to it than ball here. You don't have the attitude to be trust a barber, me, Jeff. Whatever I put my mind to, homie, I could do it. Okay. I could do it. So whatever why, I put my mind why to, why aren't you I could doing do it. motel or hotel management? Because I'm doing stand up. Okay, thank you. Getting paid from that baby. My now, point. Now let me exactly. ask. Let me ask. Let me ask this one question to D. Miller Todd. I'm I'm so glad he's here with us. What do you have coming up next? Because I know you have a, a whole bunch of things. In the works and coming up, what 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 you have coming up next that's that you're most proud of? Oh wow, well, that is a deep question. Fuck yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, the reason I say that is um, a lot of black people like to talk about what they have coming up next, and it never happens. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like so the, like I like the Black to do... Panther Party. Yeah, well, what, are, what, what are you in the Black Panther Party doing? Cause you look what am like, I in the Black Panther Party doing? Yeah, I'm not affiliated that, right? with the Black Panther Party. Well, you damn sure look like it. I know I look like it, but see, I'm the I'm the lone wolf. I'm like the lone ranger of the Black Panther Party. Well, I'm need, all by myself. You need I'm doing to take my own the tam thing. Off then, that right? way, oh, you're gonna take try to judge. No, I'm. We no, brought you back no. here for that, Farouk. <laughs> really? No, no, we could have kept the sports guy here. I mean, we didn't no, need to hear this bullshit from you. That was boring. And when I left, you didn't like the sports report. No, it was okay, but it was boring, and you fell asleep. <laughs> it was okay, but it was boring. And you fell asleep. You wasn't saying shit. What I'm saying I is... I asked him about the Raiders. That's all I cared you about. You can't misrepresent anything. Right now, mm -hmm. for the audience in America... Okay. How you doing, America? I thought he was selling pies. He looks like a fraudulent Black Panther <laughs> party man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know him or whatever, but I'm saying what you represent and what you look like, people think you represent. That's all I'm saying, brother. I, can, I did not sign the documentation. On. You're right. I didn't get jumped in. No, I didn't go to the meeting. Do, do, do you think he's misrepresenting uh, Terrence Howard? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't think God. he looks anything like Terrence Howard. Fuck Terrence Howard. <laughs> I'm taller than him. He just got more money. <laughs> 
Well, it's kind of like the Eddie Murphy. If you not just ask, it's kind of like the Eddie Murphy, Charlie Murphy thing. See, Charlie looks like a beat up, rough Eddie Murphy. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrence Howard, right? He's not going to be accused of being suave or you know gentle or hey man, you know he doesn't talk like that. So yeah, he could be Terrence's sixth cousin that tried to fuck over Terrence, and that's why he got nothing to do with him. So what you got coming up, Marv? Oh well, I got I, what we got coming up. Because uh, see, this is a team effort. You know what I'm saying? What I got coming up is we're going to be at the J Spot in the wonderful city of Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? Where they have uh, rent control. No rent control? No? No. Yeah, no, no. Whoa! Yeah! No rent control. And that's going to be on that's September. That's Westchester, more. Oh, yeah, okay. Exactly. Wait, By the airport. Uh, yeah, that's Clark, Westchester. On the other side let, of the tracks. Let me tell them. Just, this is all for, all, this is for all the ratchets. So that, they can. This is the ratchet that's GPS. That's west of La Cienega. That's Westchester. I'm going to do it like this. This is the ratchet GPS. It's across the street from the GS. Yeah. Okay, on Manchester. We're going to be there on September 30th. We're going to have a rip-roaring time. We want everybody to rip come roaring. out. Rip-roaring. Yeah, rip-roaring. Yeah. Uh, we want everybody to come out. <laughs> a lot of laughs. And then this Friday, on the 23rd, we're going to be back at the Barbara Morrison Performing Arts Theater uh, right there at 4305, Degnan. And that's where Farouk is he's hosting Friday. Farouk right? is going to be hosting, hosting this man. Friday. Seven Yours truly. This is his debut hosting extravaganza. There will be no And it's the last show. Yeah, this is the last show we're going to be doing at no the Barbara Morrison. No if you're not Picasso. So they're uh, going to blame it on you. If you're not Huey P. Newton, <laughs> there will be no Tams, Okay. <laughs> All right. I so thought it was on that show. No fraudulent. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Farouk. You can oh, be on Farouk the show, but lose the town, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Farouk is smoking. So you don't no, represent Farouk. the Black Panther. You, you, you know d Milton is on this show. On I know time. that. I know that. I love to have so, him. I've seen him perform. He can't wear He's the, a funny guy. He, 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 he wants me no, to wear a backward cap like he has no, on. No. I have a couple of those. Just get your well, escrow done right. Well, I'll be at the J-Spot this Friday. Why are you going to mention escrows around Jeff? That was, low, that was a low. That was a low ass blow. I never had an Jeff looked like an Eminem <laughs> with Jordans on. Delicious Eminem. <laughs> Delicious Eminem. <laughs> Our milk done. I love the fact Shoot. that Jeff is back, y'all. See, I need somebody to talk some shit to, and Jeff is my go-to guy to talk <laughs> shit to. I ain't got enough time. I'm proud to, go to be it. back. That my shy town native is back here <laughs> to talk shit to me, by. So wow, drink him, ass. Glad to see you so, back, In other words, you're, you're the whipping boy, is what he's saying. <laughs> no, no, translation, no, he's no. my doormat. No, no not you at all. You're more of his back, okay? No. You're the original You don't let him talk about you like that? He ain't said shit. He complimented me. You like M&M's that much? Motherfucker shit, they sell. <laughs> but he called you a milk dud. That's right, I'm chewy. The, the sec- <laughs> <laughs> but the second thank part you. of that is dud. So you got to remember where he's coming from. I ain't no dud here, players. So, well, well, so your milk. Too. We need to talk about this shady <laughs> ass cap you got on here. What about your shit? Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Say stingy. Well, that's liquor store brand. 1989. That off the Before glass hip-hop. tequila bottle and shit. <laughs> I did see that hat on some pig feet uh, at the store. I did. I see no. it. Yeah, right next to the, the deviled eggs pork. that nobody's buying. I, I, I don't support that hairline pork receipt. This running product. away. <laughs> <laughs> My hairline is straight. His and you hairline know, Barbara, is you look like Dracula. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You got a Whittle's Peak. And, yeah, <laughs> it's thank the 21st you. century. I, I, I was born with exactly. that. Blah, 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 blah. That, that's a genetic hey, Speaking of Taco Tuesday, your head look like a bowl of uh, ground beef. <laughs> look like it a, looks like a crackhead Picasso. You look like Picasso. a backward question mark. <laughs> it looks like a crackhead Picasso. It, look, police out there, if you see any nigga walking down the street with a tam on, stumbling with his drunk ass, arrest him. This see, him. you're encouraging crime with the police. I, mean, I can't believe it, can, can, can we all just I, get along? All I respect the, the authority, Criminal man. activity. You I, don't respect, I respect them the crackers. Church. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and uh, people out there, and uh, Farouk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and Farouk. Yes, this this concludes another exciting episode of the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. We're going to see you when we see you next time. See you next Tuesday. Peace. Yeah.